Hello, my dear beloved children. As a follow-up to my previous message we will now talk about the common goals of the people who create communes. By and large, in all communes, the common goal is to build a fifth dimension society. And since communes are small cells of such a society, they should reflect all the basic principles of human relations in the world of the fifth dimension. But ideally, in addition to a common goal, thematic goals and objectives are also needed. We have already talked about this, but then we were talking about professional communities that unite people of similar occupations. But in fact, you should not pay special attention to this, otherwise your task of selecting members of your commune will be much more difficult, since it is very difficult to pick up people not only of the same level of vibration, but also of similar professions. The main thing is to create an atmosphere of love and complete mutual understanding, and then each member of your commune will work with full dedication and for the highest good of all. If desired, a person can learn everything if he feels that this is the case that will bring the greatest benefit to people. Therefore, the desire to be as useful as possible to others should be the main incentive and purpose of each member of the commune. As a rule, in any group of people there is always someone wiser, more organized, experienced, who can take responsibility for others and deal with the distribution of responsibilities taking into account the skills and desires of each person. In highly developed civilizations, such people are called elders. But, of course, it's not about the age of these people, but about universal respect and trust in them. In your commune, this can be a person with extraordinary charisma, sensitivity, mind sense of humor those qualities that people especially have. But it is very important that he also has organizational skills, which will help to build a system of relations in the commune in such a way that it can exist autonomously from the current system of power. And believe me, my relatives, such communes already exist on earth, just few people know about them it is very unprofitable for those in power to advertise such islands of freedom, so as not to set an example for others. We will stop there today. The Father Absolute, who loved you immeasurably, spoke to you.